Yo, what's up, y'all? Freeline Truck Attire here. And <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all the story of my first time going to New York. And so this was this was still back in my um, prime days when I was being trained. And so my trainer, he got to the point where he was like, okay, now it's time to get your New York experience in. It's time to go to New York for the first time. But what he failed to tell me was that he himself has not been to New York in so many fucking years that he couldn't remember. So, he decided to drive. He tells me, just look, keep your eyes open, just pay attention, and just observe. So, we get to New York. Traffic packed as fuck everywhere. And to my first surprise, you have motherfuckers on the interstate in between traffic while traffic is at a standstill trying to sell you shit. There was a motherfucker who tried to sell us water. A motherfucker who tried to sell us some uh, headphones and cell phones. A motherfucker who tried to sell us home... Look. <laughs> homemade Kool-Aid. Who the fuck wants to buy homemade Kool-Aid from a stranger on the interstate? I don't know. But more surprisingly was uh, women. You had women selling pussy on the interstate. <laughs> Yo, the, the shit was so fucking crazy. One truck driver, he picked up one of them. She never got out the truck. I think he took that motherfucker home. Hey, I ain't hating, but I'm just saying. And um, another thing is, it was so many homeless looking women that was attractive. It was crazy as shit. I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? All these homeless attractive women. But later on, I found out because the average rent in New York is like $1,000. I was like, shit, back home, $1,000 would get you damn near near a mini mansion where the fuck I live at. So, we're coming up on this bridge. And the bridge says like 12 foot 6 or some shit. So, my uh, trainer, he panics. He panics like a motherfucker. And he takes the very next exit. And in New York, the bridges say 12 foot 6 and will actually be 13 foot 6. Or someone will say 12 6 and will actually be 12 6. And that's part of the shit that I hate about New York. Because shit's so stupid. And they do that because during the winter time when the snows, you know... You're higher up off the ground, so you could be hitting, you know, 12 6. But the shit is stupid because they don't tell you the difference in the bridges. So, we take the very next exit. And at the bottom of the exit is a guy, and he's saying, Hey, hey, truck driver, you're lost, aren't you? Look, for $200, I'll get you back to the interstate. <laughs> and, and I'm looking at it like, What the fuck? So, my trainer, he declines the guy. Makes the right turn. And we're panicking. He, well, he's panicking like a motherfucker. And I'm watching him panic. And it's starting to make me panic. Because he was lost. He didn't know how to get back to the interstate. And I'm thinking to myself like, shit. If he got more experience than me. And he's about to shit his pants. This shit might be ain't going to be good. So, I'm looking at everything around me. All the buildings. All the people. All the stores. All the weirdos. It's like motherfuckers was dressing weird as hell in New York. It's almost like they didn't give a fuck what they wore and it was still considered fashion or some shit. So, another thing I noticed was like every, like all the stores was compact together and a lot of shit looked run down, but it was still in business. And like it was a food store, food store, clothing store, liquor store, food store, liquor store, clothing store, liquor store. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? All these, they had more liquor stores than they had any other stores in fucking New York. The shit blew my fucking mind. And then, the thing I didn't understand was they had trash bags on the sidewalk all the way down. Looked like for like half a mile of trash bags just sitting on the curves. And the shit was weird. I'm thinking to myself like, where the fuck is the trash man? Like, the, the shit was weird. And then... Even worse than that, like the racks. 
they had a shit ton of fucking rats in New York, and the rats wasn't even, like, regular size. Them bitches was, like, that big, that long. They was, like, they looked like house cats. <laughs> like, rats the size of house cats, and even more shocking to me was, like, the people... They wasn't even scared of the rats. Then the rats wasn't scared of the people. It was like they was walking side by side, down the sidewalk and shit. Almost like the rats was going to work and the people was going to work. I couldn't understand shit. And like, we was, we was in the situation where we was in backed up traffic up the, on the street. And like, a police officer was talking to a truck driver because the truck driver was making a right turn. And there was a Bentley part right there on the corner so in new york 53 foot trailers are not allowed in in like certain parts of new york and we was in that part of new york where it wasn't allowed and the guy who parked the bentley on the corner was parked somewhere he wasn't even pulled apart so you got two wrongs in this situation so the officer tells the truck driver he says you either make this right turn or i'm going to give you a ticket for it impeding traffic so he says, all right, he gets in this truck, he makes the right turn, and takes off the whole front end of the Bentley, and the guy comes out of the store, hey, hey, you hit my Bentley, yada, 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 and he's, you know, he runs up to the officer and says, that truck driver just hit my car, and, and the officer's like, yeah, and now you're going to get a ticket for, you know, parking somewhere you're not supposed to park, and, I, and when I saw that shit, I was like, Yo, New York is savage as fuck, yo. New York is savage. Like, fuck the movies. Fuck that bullshit you see in the video games and you hear from other people. New York is savage as hell. Like, <laughs> it's, it's really a, a small, uh, big bank, beat small bank type. Uh, only the strongest survive, kill or be killed type situation and shit. So, we're going up the road. Uh, my, my train is still panicking, you know, looking on Google Maps, looking at GPS, looking left and right, trying to figure out what would be the best way to get out. I'm looking at all the prostitutes and pimps <laughs> walking up and down the road, yo. You talking about some scandalous ass women, yo. One woman, she had on this big ass fur shit, and she saw me staring at her, and she was like, uh, do you like, do you like... <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, she had a nice body, but I mean, she didn't look like she was clean, though. I wouldn't have fucked with her. So, we eventually get off, uh, we get off the streets and shit. We get onto the interstate. My uh, trainer, he has a sigh of relief and he's all relaxed and shit. And I look at him, I say, Yo, you alright? He said, Uh, uh, yeah, but, you know, now you got your experience, and I was like, oh, you motherfucker, you almost had a heart attack. Stop lying. And so I told him, I said, yo, straight up, based on this shit, I'm never coming to New York. You you wasted your whole time. You was better off showing me a documentary of other truck drivers going to New York. It's because this shit is too crazy. It's too packed, too crowded, too much bullshit. You ain't even allowed to be in certain parts as a truck driver. Why would anybody want to come here? And he said, hey, well, you know, when you get in your own truck, do your thing. And to this day, I think I've only delivered to New York, period, maybe five times in ten years. So, it, I'm not a fan of New York. I'll never be a fan of New York. They got some sex-ass homeless women. But... <laughs> But other than that, I wouldn't be coming to New York for nothing else but maybe to shop for clothes and women. So, the moral of the story is, know what the fuck you're getting yourself into before you get yourself into or before you recommend somebody else to get into that shit. And if you go to New York, you might want to at least know Kung Fu or some shit since guns ain't allowed because you're going to need that shit. <laughs> um, so I'm out, always remember, speed, time, distance.